Welcome to this channel. So I have just released a course on Next.js and Django. So in this course, we will learn that how we can build a full stack uh, application with Django as a backend. We will use Django REST framework for building our backend API with Postgres database. And then we will build our frontend with Next.js, which is very powerful framework of React. In this course, we will learn how to generate coordinates of an address, how to display maps, and how we can pin our location on that, how to apply to different jobs, and also we will upload our resume of the user on AWS S3 bucket. Okay. And we will implement other features like pagination, filters, authentication, and all that stuff. Okay. If you really want to learn how to build full stack application with Django and Next.js, then you can find the link in the description of this video with the coupon code. And now you can watch the complete demo of the project that we are going to build in this course. So the project name is Joby. And it is basically a jobs portal where we can basically post our jobs okay and then we can apply to our jobs with our resume all right so this is the home page of the website where you can see the latest jobs okay and we have on the sidebar we have the filters we can see the stats of a particular topic we can post a job we can log in okay so if i go to post a job and this route is protected we have to log in to access this basically route okay so for that i create a new account so create account i type here my first name then the last name then i type here my email let's type here uh, gulam8 at gmail.com and i here password like one two three four and if i click on submit you can see that the password length should be uh, six or greater than six if i type here five six and now if I click on register, so my account is created successfully. All right. And now if I log in with gulam8 at gmail.com and if I type here wrong password like 12345678 and log in. So you will see an error, invalid email or password, please try again. Okay. So if I type here correct password and click on login. So now I am logged in as gulam Abbas. So as you can see that. Here is my first name and now these are my options. I can view my jobs. Right now I don't have any job because this is a fresh account. And then I can view my jobs applied. And then I have here profile where, where I can update my profile details. If I type here like Mr. Dot and click on update. So my name is updated here successfully. Okay. And then we have upload resume where we can upload our uh, resume and then we can apply to our jobs. Okay. So let's go back and these are some jobs so if i click on any job you can see that here we have a job title okay and then the company name and then the address of that company okay then we have here apply now button and here i have mentioned that how many candidates have applied to this job in this case only one candidate has applied to this job okay and then here we have the job description and then we have here some job details like what job type is permanent, industry is information technology, expected salary is this, education required is this, experience is this, and the company name is this. Okay. And at the bottom, we have here job location. So this is the job location. Uh, we have displayed a map here. You can see this marker. So we will simply generate the coordinates of the address that user will provide while creating a job. And then we will display that location on the job page. If I zoom in, you can see that. This is the actually, this is the address of Google uh, head office, I think so. So this is the address, Mountain View. And you can see that this is here, Google Plex, and this is our marker. So we will also display the maps of all the jobs. And then here in the more details, we have a company email address. And then we have job posted three days ago. And then the last day to apply to this job. Okay. And now if I click on apply a job, you will see that I got here error that please upload your resume first. Okay. So user must have to upload his resume to in order to apply to this job. Okay. So I close this error and now let's upload our resume. So for uploading, I have used AWS S3. So I will store all my files there. Okay. So now let's upload resume. I go to the upload resume. I choose my resume. Okay. Then I click on upload. So uploading. You can see that we get here success message that your resume is uploaded successfully okay if i reload this page you can see that we get here our download your resume option if i click on that 
it will open my resume in new tab and this is a sample resume that is uploaded on Amazon AWS. You can see the URL here, joby.s3.amazon.aws and then this is the URL, okay? So our resume is successfully uploaded on our uh, AWS S3 and now if I go back to that job, and now if I click on apply, so I have successfully applied to this job and now this button is disabled, I can no longer click on this. If I reload this page, so you can see that it is still green and unclickable and now you can see that two candidates has applied to this job so data is updating successfully here and now if i go back and if i click on this job and you can see that the last date to apply this job is this and this date has been passed so you can see a message here you can no longer apply to this job this job is expired and also the apply now button is also disabled so if the last date is passed user cannot apply to this job okay so we will add this check also you can see that also we have here our map so this is the job details section and now if user want to search the job if i go to search page i can type here the keyword and then the location for example i type here node uh, the keyword if i click on search i get here two jobs with the node keyword so two results for node one is this and one is this okay and if i go to the search and just enter here node and I type here location like mountain view okay and that is mountain view and if I click on search you will see that we get here same results if I open that it also has mountain view and this job also has mountain view actually okay and in this way our search will work now we also have here job filters for example if I only want to get jobs that has permanent job type if I click on permanent now i have here only permanent job types you can see that here permanent permanent and permanent and you can also see that the pagination is also implemented if i go to page number two this is also permanent okay so now uh, for example if i want to get only jobs with the internship if i click on internship so this job only offers internship you can see that here okay in the same way i can add more filters like i want to get jobs in which the requirement is phd so this is the phd job this is the master jobs these two and for the bachelors uh, these are the two jobs okay and in the same way we can also add here the experience for example i want to see the job with no experience so this job requires no experience okay in which we require bachelors and the experience is no experience if i type here one years i will get this job two years there is no job in the same way, I can get the jobs with the salary range. For example, if I want to get jobs between $50,000, if I click on that, there is only one job with $30,000. If I click on here, I get two jobs between $50,000 and $100,000. So this is $90,000 and this is $60,000. In the same way, we have the, these filters. Okay. So we will also implement the filters, pagination and the search. Okay. And moving on next, we have here get topic stats. If I click on that, I can type here any topic name and I will get the uh, basic stats of that topic. For example, I type here node and click on get stats. You will see that we get here stats for node in which uh, average positions 2, total number of jobs are 2, okay, minimum salary is 60,000, maximum is 90,000 and average is 75,000, okay. You can see a note here that these stats are collected from the jobs that are posted on joby only okay so these are stats from this only api joby api so in this way we will also add this functionality to uh, get the statistics of a particular topic and if i type here topic like uh, i type here python if i click on get stats you will see that no stats found for this uh, for python okay so we will also add that and moving on next we have here our jobs jobs applied if i click on that here is the details uh, or list of all the jobs that I, have, that I have applied. You can see that I have recently applied to this job. So this is that job. I can view that also from here. Okay. And next we can also actually view my jobs that I have posted. Right now I haven't posted any job. So if I click on post a job, I can actually type here the title. I type here like I put in here the description then the email i type here test at gmail.com because we are just testing it and the salary range i will type here 
90,000 positions one company name I type here tech okay then I select the job type I type here permanent education masters industry is going to be information technology then experience is going to be two years okay we also have to pass here address so this is the address of Apple okay Apple head office so now if I click on post job so posting so job is posted successfully if I go to the home page and I go to the page number two and here I have this Java uh, job if I click on that so here is the job details so this is the address title and all the details and this is posted a few seconds ago okay and now if I go to my maps and can see that if I zoom it a little bit you can see that here we have our Apple campus okay so this means that the map is accurate so now we can also update our job if I go to my my jobs now here is my jobs I can edit this job like I type here Java developer only I remove this required and click on update now this title is updated okay I can also view the candidates that have applied to this job right now there are no candidates okay so if I log out and log in for my other account and here I have a bunch of jobs that I have created so now here if I click on this button you will see that two candidates applied to this job so these are the details of both users that have applied to this job I can view their resume also from here okay in this way I can view resume of all candidates so in this way we will also uh, view the uh, uh, basically list of candidates that have applied to this job okay now we also have this delete button if you want to delete any job if I click on delete you can see that the job is gone if I reload this page that job is gone also okay so this is the project that we're going to build in this course I hope that you will like that and also we will use the server side rendering for this project if I open any job details and go to view page source and you can see that the content is actually rendered here okay this is all content so I hope that you will enjoy this project if you really want to build full stack application with Django and Next.js then I will see you in the course